I need Sharon to call in right now. Sharon, call in the show right now. Because the reads are there, the notes are there. Where is Sharon at? Sito. Like Nene, but then they can't be in church, but then they can't do this. What the fuck? First, when you had the choir director sitting with the sleeping with the piano player and she got pregnant, all types of shit. I'm sorry, but is she the one that stole the wig, Jason? I'ma light your ass up for that one. I'm gonna need an ancestry.com because I don't see a bit of fucking Puerto Rican. You're gonna have to get over that. We got over that shower curtain in the background. You're gonna have to get over bitches going left and right. <laughs> talking about it, you know why? Because that's the only good pussy he'll ever have in his fucking mouth. I'm glad. And instead of running your mouth, run on a fucking treadmill, bitch. How about that? I love when Sharon shows up because Sharon be having the motherfucking note. She's going to go through them. Go ahead, Sharon. What's up, everybody? You guys know who I am. I'm Queen Sharon, Queen of the Mess Report, where I cover the mess so you don't have to stress. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hot Off the Press. I hope everybody's weekend was great. I had a nice, chill, relaxed weekend. Um, I hung out with the kids. You know, I had me a little bit of wine. I made a seafood salad. I put salmon in it and crab and lobster tail and shrimp, um, peppers, onions, and then we went to go see the new movie, uh, Talk To Me. And I got to say, that it was a pretty good movie. And anybody that knows me knows that I am a scary movie fanatic. I love uh, horror movies. Um, that's pretty much the only movie, that move, type of movies that I watch. But I'm trying to branch out and I'm trying to do more, trying to expand my horizon. But anyway, it was a really good weekend. It's a dope weekend, getting ready for the kids to go back to school. Um, everybody knows that I homeschool my kids, so... Um, but nevertheless, still have to get them ready because they still have to work, 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 work. So, uh, with that, let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and put this, uh, bad boy up on the screen, this disclaimer. Now, disclaimer, this disclaimer, you guys should know this shit by now. And it is telling you that you are responsible for all the little people that are in your house. And I'm responsible for all the little people that are in my house. So if you don't want them to hear what the fuck that I'm going to say, then go ahead and put them to bed. Okay, this is for entertainment purposes only. Screenshot the rest, read it on your own time. I have done my job. Woo! All right, you guys. Now look, we're gonna get through this show. Um, I have my relaxing method that I have to get to and uh my meal. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Let's go to the first topic on the docket. This woman up here. Oh, oh, thank you, babe. You guys, time for the mess report. And then let's go ahead and give another hand, uh, hand clap of praise to my husband uh, for reminding me and keeping me on my toes. <laughs> so it's time for the message report. Let's get to the first topic on the docket. Let's go ahead and put this lovely young lady up on the screen, babe. Laverne Cox, you guys, Laverne Cox is... Um, in the news now, for you guys that don't know, Laverne Cox is a transgender woman. Now, I was first introduced to Laverne Cox um, when I was watching the show Orange is the New Black. That You remember that show, baby? We used to watch the show? That used to be our show. And uh, Laverne was on that show as a transgender woman that was locked up in prison. Um, very good show. Very good show. I actually have to finish watching it. Uh, nevertheless, you guys, you know, last week that we we covered and we talked about uh, this huge topic that has just been sparked up all over the Internet. And that was our let's get into a topic. And it was a topic about a TikToker, um, transgender TikToker, trans, transgender woman that uh, made a comment about biological females, gatekeeping periods and motherhood and this is this, this, that and the other and blah, blah, blah. Well, 
Jess Hilarious responded back. And you guys know she got a lot of backlash from that, but she also got a lot of support. T.S. Madison then chimed in, okay? And T.S. Madison uh, uh, went against Jess. And, and it was and it was quite a, a bit of people that have spoken up. Well, now Laverne Cox is in the news, you guys, because she had something to say. Uh, Laverne Cox breaks down in tears as she asks people to stop spewing hate on the trans community. Our lives are in danger. Now, we, this was the let's get into a topic, as I've already said, and I didn't want this to be another let's get into a topic because, frankly, I'm tired of this topic. But I cover the mess. So you don't have to stress. Now, what I do realize and I understand what Laverne Cox was saying. However, I got to call a spade a spade. Um, if you guys tune in um, to the daily drop uh, that Jason Lee does on Amp Radio, we had this conversation Friday and I'm going to say exactly what I stated um, on that show. OK, which is uh, and you guys, that's every day, Monday through Friday, one o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but. You have to hold your communities accountable. OK, I understand what people are saying. I understand that Laverne is saying that transgender women, that their lives are in danger, um, that uh, that, you know, they are being, you know, unalived. I understand it. And I get that. But here's the thing. Everybody is commenting on uh, what has happened and what Jess Hilarious did. But we have to hold our communities accountable. Carly Russell is part of the black community. OK. Uh, she did what she did. And I was not biased toward, towards it at all just because she was black. The I feel like the black community is holding her accountable. We said, hey, she does deserve to go to jail. She should have consequences. She does deserve that uh, due time because a lot of resources were wasted. Um, and she just completely made a joke out of the whole uh, justice system. You know, we were holding her accountable. When do I hear every time everybody that is speaking out? I'm hearing them say, yeah, it was an ignorant comment, but Jess shouldn't have did this and shouldn't have said this and blah, 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 blah. Now, while I do agree, I do understand that there are, I do agree that there are things that Jess hilarious should not have said. And she said it in the wrong way. However, I do agree with what she was trying to say all together. Okay. Um, this has just sparked so much controversy that it just, it absolutely makes no sense. I don't understand why we all just can't get along. You know what I'm saying? Um, but nevertheless, Laverne got on screen and she was crying and saying, stop and stop spewing the hate. But Laverne, I have to tell you, at some point in time, you have to hold your community accountable. Who is the person that is going to sit there in your community and is going to sit there and say, look, this TikToker did this, 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 that, this was wrong. Address your community as well. OK, because. If we're all women, we're all supposed to be sticking together, then you need to hold your community accountable as well. I don't think it was appropriate, the comments that she said. And there's a lot of things that, uh, then there's other people, I don't know if you guys were ever on this app called Vigo, I was, nightmare, toxic, 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 okay? Um, however, there's another lady that that came out, Cherry the Boom, and it, it was all of this stuff she was saying about, well, you guys wish that you could be us, and this, this, this that, and the other, and that is the problem. That is the problem that sparks the controversy and sits there and offends, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, biological women. Now, I do also know that people are saying, oh, it's an ignorant comment. Ignore ignorant comment. Just like we speak on Black Lives Matters and the different things that we face in the Black community uh, with, with, with our color skin, I do not think that there was anything wrong with Jess Larry is speaking out because at some point in time, she is right. We do have to stand up for biological women. We are being called breastfeeders or um, cisgender and all types of things that they're giving us names for. But that's what we're being called. But then and, and, and the disrespect is going this way. But then the the, the respect is wants to be given the other way. And I do think that it should be respected all, all around the table. But Laverne, these these big ass crocodile motherfucking tears that you was crying. Because I ain't seen one teardrop, bitch. But these big ass crocodile tears that you was crying, cry those tears when your community is sitting there and saying comments that are degrading us and are belittling us. Call that person out. Hold them accountable. We damn sure held Carly accountable. We damn sure called Carly out. OK, it should not be to where people are afraid to speak out as long as you can articulate your words and you can be respectful. 
I do not think that people should be afraid to speak out and talk about these issues. And I would really like it if we could get together and have a conversation. Can we just have a conversation and break it down? Because at the end of the day, women are getting unalived all the time. Women are are uh, underrated, especially if you are a woman of color. And we go through enough, enough. But what is upsetting me? It's everybody has so much stuff to say about Jess, but nobody is sitting there. They're just sweeping it under the rug. Oh, yeah, this happened, but this. Oh, yeah, 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 this person said this, but this. I think that's completely unacceptable. Laverne, hold your community accountable. And as women, we need to hold all of us accountable and understand that there is a way to communicate and we can communicate and we can do it the right way. But I just felt like, you know, Laverne getting on there and crying and crying these big ass crocodile uh, uh, tears, which looked like acting to me. I mean, maybe she was really upset. I don't know. But like I said, I didn't see one fucking teardrop. OK. She probably had shit in her head getting ready for the goddamn Renaissance Festival. We ain't even going to talk about that look. But that was that was a not for me. That was a no. That was the past. So I would like to see more people even I don't I don't know what the actress's name is, but, you know, she played on um, uh, American Horror Story and she also played on uh, Pose. She spoke out and spoke out against Jess Hilarious. And I just feel like everybody is on Jess, on Jess, on Jess, on Jess. But just like you sat there and said that one person does not represent the whole transgender community. One person does also does not sit there and represent the biological women. but. If we could sit down and have a conversation, you actually hear what she had to say, then maybe we could come to some type of understanding or at least start and start the conversation that can then sit there and cause a ripple effect. I also want to say this to you, Jess, and this is something that pisses me off. Uh, Jason Lee, once again, you guys know Jason Lee has his show, The Jason Lee Show. Well, he reached out to Jess and he reached out to T.S. Madison. T.S. Madison is coming on the show to speak on this subject. Jess, as of now, from all we know, from what Jason has said, you uh, have not reached back out to Jason and, 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 and aren't speaking. This is the problem that I have. Because we are so much on eggshells and so scared to say something because we don't know what's going to offend, what's going to cause this huge got darn ripple effect, snowball effect, who's going to get canceled. We don't know what the fuck is going to happen. That when you sit there and you speak up, then at some point in time, you sit there and you pull back. You don't have to pull back, Jess. You don't have to pull back. You just have to be able to articulate your words in, in the correct way. But let me tell you what's pissing me off about you, Jess. You sat there and said, who's going to stick up for biological women? Who's going to look out for biological women? You spoke your mind. You started a good conversation. But instead of continuing it, instead of uh, responsibly having a conversation, you have now backed away. That's not standing up for us biological women. That's not doing what you were saying we need to do. Don't back away from this issue. This is a huge issue. Don't back away from it. Just figure out how to say it and how to say it in the right way without offending anybody. I'm really, really curious to see what's going to happen on this uh, episode of the Jason Lee Show with T.S. Madison. I am so interested. And let me tell you something even more interested than the Adam 22 interview. I'm super excited to figure uh, to to hear what's going to happen at, with the T.S. Uh, Madison episode. And just hilarious, I sit there and I encourage you. I'm telling you right now, just pick up the phone, call Jason. We want to hear and we want to hear what you got to say because I am grateful that we had somebody that was standing up for biological women. I know people sit there and say it's no big deal. It is a big deal. We're not just breastfeeders. We're not breeders. We're not cis women. We are biological, strong, determined fucking women and we deserve respect and that's it everybody deserves respect and that's all i'm gonna say on that subject because y'all know i get really heated on that subject i do not like the labels that are getting put on us now and it's not fair to sit there and say oh don't worry about the labels just ignore it because let me tell you something let a white person go around and call a black person a nigger let, let white people just right now start calling us niggers nigga 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 every time they see us it would be a goddamn riot and you can't tell me that it wouldn't be. So when we're being called cis and we're being called breastfeeds, that's calling us nigger. That's a white, it's like a white person calling us nigger. If we can respect the things that you guys are asking for, I feel like you can respect what we're asking for too. And we can all stick together and just be together as one community because we are all women, period. 
whether you identify as a woman, whether you was born a biological woman, I don't think that that is the argument. The argument is the respect. And leave us alone for the things that we do that other people cannot do. If you do not have a reproductive system and you do not have periods and you do not uh, give birth and you do not break, you should not be fucking commenting on it. Just like white people cannot comment on our struggle and the issues that we go through because they have no fucking idea what they're talking about. Okay? I have, like I've said before, I have love for the whole transgender community. I have friends that are transgender, but I got to tell you, they agree with me on this one. They agree with me on this one. And props to T.S. Madison for coming on to the Jason Lee show and actually talking about it and addressing the issue. It, it, it takes a strong woman to do that. And I have so much respect for T.S. Madison. So kudos for her. I'm so excited for that episode. Make sure you guys are tuning in to the Jason Lee show. All right, let's get to the next topic on the docket. These motherfuckers up. Be right here. Put them up, babe. Donald Trump and goddamn Joe Biden, you guys. Donald Trump and Joe Biden. I don't know which one's getting on my nerves the most. Uh, Donald Trump gets fired up at a rally in Pennsylvania and calls President Joe Biden a dumb son of a bitch. Now, I have to tell you this. This right now, to me, is a sad, sad, sad day for me. Because never in my life, with growing up and the presidents, all the presidents that there's been, have I seen a president or former president conduct themselves in the way that this dumb ass stupid orange motherfucker in the goddamn uh corner of this screen acts this is the shit him calling joe biden a dumb ass son of a bitch and if you guys can hear the crowd the crowd went motherfucking wild this is the problem this is what's starting riots this is what's uh uh, bringing out the good old boys. This is what's continuing the racism. Because when you can act like that, the only thing you are sparking in the people that you are speaking to is rage, is violence, is disrespect. And it's going to come out just like that. This country is going to pay for it. Now, I will tell you, Joe Biden has not been the best president. I 100% agree with that. But I I'm telling you right now, the way that Donald Trump is going about, I think that it is sparking hate. It is sparking all types of controversy in this motherfucking world. And before you know it, it's going to be a bunch of white folks just walking in the streets with nooses ready to motherfucking hang us. You as being the former motherfucking president, you goddamn orange Cheeto looking motherfucker, has a responsibility. You have a responsibility, even if you are not president anymore, to conduct yourself in such a way that is not going to cause problems. But sitting there and calling our president a dumb son of a bitch, that makes you an even dumber son of a bitch. Because to sit there and do that in, 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 in front of all these people and you guys, you could just hear them. The crowd was just cheering. Them motherfuckers was like, oh, hell yeah, we're going to be hanging us a nigga real soon. Let me get the tree ready. Let me get the noose ready. Let me make sure the tree can sit there. Uh, it ain't no weak branches. We want to get this nigga in one try. That's what I heard when I heard the crowd go wild. Shame on fucking you, Donald Trump, because that's not something that you should be uh, inducing. So, you guys, I'm really curious to see uh, what's going to go on, what's going to happen this new election. If this goddamn Cheeto motherfucker is going to goddamn win. I love flaming Hot Cheetos. I don't want one for a president, especially not a dumbass son of a bitch. So Donald Trump, I think you need to aim that right back at you. So disappointing to see that this is what the world has came to. I, I grew up where presidents, I don't even give a fuck if I ain't like them or not, Republican or Democrat, handled themselves with motherfucking class. They didn't, they didn't speak like this. They didn't act like this. Horrible. Horrible. All right, let's go to the next topic on the docket. I told you guys we're getting through this pretty quickly. All right, let's put these motherfuckers back up on the screen too. I feel like we talk about them. No, 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 no. Is that it? Oh, that is it. Okay. Whew. Let's get to this next topic on the docket. Former U.S. intelligence official David Grush says under oath that the U.S. government is in possession of UFOs and non-human bodies. Motherfuckers, this goddamn aliens on this world, in the, on this earth. I told y'all that. Aliens have been around for years. OK, I think that they disguise themselves. I think that they're on here walking around with us and we don't know that there are motherfucking aliens here. As my husband said, you know how big this fucking universe is. You think that we the only motherfuckers that, that are alive on here. And just like we're venturing out in space and trying to figure out what's what, and what's living where and what planets are livable. 
And would you say, babe, every star is a sun? All of this shit in the universe, you think we the only ones? And just like we trying to figure out what's out there, they trying to figure out what, what's out there too. But guess what, niggas? They done motherfucking made it. They done made it. I heard that shit. And I'm telling you, I got a little bit scared because I'm the, the, end, the ending times are coming. But you guys, we got motherfucking aliens on this goddamn earth. I do not know when they're going to reveal themselves. I do not know when it's going to come out. But I know we need some more motherfucking information of these goddamn UFOs that's done crash. And UFOs, y'all, I've been hearing about them and seeing them in the sky, you know, on TV and stuff since the 90s. But we need to hear what the fuck is going on. Because it seems like it's really getting serious. So we're going to keep you guys updated and figure out what the hell is going on with this. But yeah, these motherfuckers, I mean, we probably partying with them. We probably smoking hookah with them. And they probably sitting there plotting and looking at all the shit that we're doing, finding our weaknesses, seeing how long our lifespan is, all of this shit, and maybe planning a motherfucking attack. I don't know. They could be planning to just chill with us and party with us. I don't motherfucking know. They could be the ones that save us from all this dumb shit like Donald Trump that's going on on this planet right now. I don't motherfucking know. But y'all, they here. They here. He said this shit under motherfucking oath. They're here. Watch your back. Let's get to the next topic on the docket. Like I was saying, I feel like I talk about these motherfuckers every goddamn week. But I cover the mess so you don't have to stress. Let's get them on up there, babe. Christian and Blueface, everybody. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Okay. <sighs> Krishan is finally fed up with Blueface and puts her foot down, you guys. So there were some tweets that went out there. You guys know that they have a show that's on the Zeus Network right now, and there's things that are coming out. But also remember that this was also pre-recorded, okay? Her bump wasn't even showing yet. So this is stuff that's already happened. Since then, it seems that Krishan has made some growth, and she's fed up, and she's done with Blueface. However... She was spotted with Blueface a week ago, and Blueface is denying that that was him in the picture. Nigga, it was you in the picture. Y'all were together. So I'm hoping that what Krishan is saying now, she is sticking to because she does not need this low down dirty dog in her life. But let's get into the tweets. Not all of them because it was too fucking much, and I'm not going to read all that shit. But let's get into the tweet that started it and what was Krishan's response. So here's what Blueface had to say. When that lie detector test episode drops, you guys will understand why I demoted Krishan to side bitch. Your main bitch got to keep it, keep it 10, even when it hurts the position, uh, even when it hurts the position I'm in, my main got to listen. Oh shit. These niggas can't type. Got to listen over a jail call if need be. It's a lot of assets involved. I can't depend on no liar. And Krishan responded back with, you tweeting because you are blocked. No more coochie for you, blue face. It ain't your pussy no more, bitch. I don't want to fuck with you no more. When you wanted to fuck with me, I wasn't talking with, with you. So fuck you and your, fuck you, you bitch ass. And your bitch ass called five times from a no color, color ID. Let me tell you guys something. I understand when y'all be writing these tweets that y'all motherfuckers be upset. I, 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 I done wrote an angry text before and I, Autocorrect. Okay, autocorrect. And since you guys are chopping up words and just putting them together and you're saying the word, but you're only putting like three letters motherfucking in it, then I I, I don't know. I mean, can't I, I can't ask for subtitles for something that you text, but y'all need to text regular because it's hard as hell to read y'all shit. And you're putting your business out there because you want us to know it. So at least make it to where we can motherfucking read it. Okay. So blue face, I mean, here's the thing. Krishan, it seems like she done came to her motherfucking senses. The only dumb bitch that you got control uh, over now is 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 Jaden Alexis, okay? It's Stewie with her big-ass football head, okay? That's the only person right now that you have control over. Krishan is over. She is done. Krishan has explained that she was not drinking for fun, but she had to drink to be around this nigga. And now that she's not drinking, she can't be around him. She cannot drink him. Krishan, I am so happy that you have finally came to your senses. I told you when I met you, I felt like you had a sweet spirit. Please do not let this nigga pull you back in. You are absolutely motherfucking right. Keep him motherfucking blocked. Now, if you guys go to Hollywood Unlocked on Instagram, they got all the tweets. Okay? There was a lot more tweets and a lot more shit that uh, Krishan said. But the, the basis of it is what, what I just read, which is, nigga, I don't give a fuck about you no more. This ain't your pussy. I don't give a fuck. You toxic as hell, and I don't want anything to motherfucking do with you. I Too 
on the hearing claps on that one. But Krishan, I am super proud of you. You need to continue to stay strong. And let me tell you something. I understand that uh, once you have the baby and you got to unblock this bitch. But let me tell you something. You can unblock him from the phone, but still block him from your pussy. Don't get caught up with this motherfucking nigga um, on, uh, uh, again, you need to let this nigga know your goddamn pussy's on D&D. Do not disturb, nigga. Cut off. And any bitch that sits there and gets with this dog of a man, I feel so fucking sorry for you. You see the way that he treats women? Goddamn Stewie sits there and puts up with it. You got a big ass head, you motherfucking right. You 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 right, Alexis. You got a big ass football Stewie looking head. But you ain't got no brains in there. Because you're not very smart. You're not very bright at all. And I hope you even got filled up in pantries and got that baby some food. Okay? Um... Which let me speak on this real quick too. I'm gonna throw this in there. You know why? Because it's my motherfucking show. Um, we talked last week too about um Blueface and trying to get his son in there, you know, to pay attention to the strippers instead of um in the pantry looking for something to eat. Well, since then, Young Miami, okay, you guys know who she is. Young Miami is um part of the City Girls, JT and and, and Young Miami. Uh, she's also dating Diddy. Okay, um. And his money. Uh, she had her son, and I think her son is 10 years old, and she had her son um, throwing money at strippers. Uh, and then people had a lot to say about it. She received a lot of backlash. And um, her response was, this is why I don't show my kids, because you guys always have something to say. And she was pretty angry. I got to tell you this. I really do like you, Miami, but I think it's fucked up. No 10-year-old boy needs to be sitting there and throwing goddamn money on a stripper. That's not where his mind should be. Now, you're sitting there and saying, this is why I don't show my kids. Well, nigga, when you showed your motherfucking kids, maybe the one time that you did show them, you shouldn't have showed them throwing goddamn money at goddamn strippers. This, to me, is no different than what Lil Boosie was doing and having a goddamn prostitute suck his son's dick. Okay? Everything is being sexualized, and I do not believe that young children should be introduced to, to such things at such a young age. He is 10 years old. He should not be worrying about strippers or throwing money at strippers. So even though I like you, young Miami, I am going to keep it 100% real. I think it was fucked up, and I think it was wrong. Now, even though that wasn't one of the topics today, Queen had to speak out on that, and I said what the fuck I said. Now, let's go to the next topic on the docket. It is time for Let's Get Into It. All right, let's get into it. Here we go. You guys, it's been all over the internet. Uh, let's put her up on the screen. This beautiful young lady right here. All right, Cardi B. Cardi B throws her microphone at a DJ for cutting her song short. Now, you guys, Cardi B, okay, we, who we all know her, phenomenal rapper, beautiful woman, uh, married to Offset, beautiful children, okay? I mean, literally got it up out the motherfucking mud, okay? All right, you want to talk about a hardworking bitch? Cardi is a hardworking bitch. Okay. Now, Cardi, you guys, has sparked controversy as well because she was performing um, at one of her concerts, okay? And somebody threw water on her, which made Cardi angry, and then this happened. Go ahead. Let's put it on the big screen. Right there. Yes, that is Cardi throwing her microphone. So somebody threw a cup of water at her, and Cardi then threw her microphone at, at that bystander. Okay, now two days before that, she also threw her microphone when she was performing, and the DJ cut her music short, so she threw the damn microphone at the DJ. Now, this is the let's get into a topic, because let's get into it. Let's really, really talk about it. Now, Cardi, you are beautiful. You are, you, you, you are amazing. You're an amazing artist. Here is the thing. I get it. Somebody threw water on me. I would I, I would have wanted to chuck a goddamn microphone at they ass too. And let me tell you something. The girl that shows her saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was an accident, bitch. It wasn't no motherfucking accident. We saw it. That motherfucking cup went like this and swooped up and threw it at her. Okay? But this is what I want to say to you, Cardi. Stop letting these trashy ass bitches. They there watching you. They're there watching you. When that motherfucking water got damn got thrown on you, it should have been to run that mouth. Bitch, escort this bitch out. Escort this bitch out of my motherfucking concert. But Cardi, they are baiting you. 
They are baiting you because they sit there and they do something to you. You do something back, boom, lawsuit, boom. You just made them rich. You just made some goddamn basic mad asshole rich. And I see this all the time where people try to come at Cardi because they know that Cardi will pop off and pop her shit. But Cardi, you are Cardi B now. You are Cardi B now. Millions and millions of dollars being made. Millions of fans. Motherfuckers are going to do whatever the fuck they got to do and try to do to motherfucking bait you, Cardi. But Cardi, you cannot be throwing motherfucking microphones. Okay? Maybe you need to get somebody, you know what I'm saying, to handle that shit on the side. Do a little thump, thump beside the head and handle it for you. But Cardi, you cannot do that. I am also not giving um, advice for anybody to get a hitman or anybody to... Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. I don't know. I just said the word because I ain't trying to get sued. But Cardi, I'm telling you right now, all jokes aside, you really cannot be that person that is throwing microphones, um, that's fighting with people you can't. One, you're too beautiful. You're too gorgeous. You're too motherfucking rich. You're too fucking successful. Was that a fucking moth that just flew by my face? See, I get it. I understand. A goddamn moth just flew by my face and I want to sit there and, and, and beat the shit out the moth. But I'm telling you right now, you're being baited, okay? Next thing you know, this person is going to say that they're in emotional distress. They want to get paid for pain and suffering. The microphone hit them in the head. All of that. You've worked hard for your money. Cardi, don't be stupid and let these dumb bitches bait you anymore. You should have embarrassed that bitch and escorted that bitch out of the motherfucking concert. Now, throwing the microphone, okay? When with the DJ, I get it because he cut your song off. But you also don't want to be known as a diva. Remember when Mariah Carey was doing all types of shit like that? And and they just kept calling her diva and diva and diva. And she was so hard to work with. And it took forever for Mariah Carey to get past that. We know that, that you're beautiful. We know that you're fun. We know that you're a free spirit, Cardi. Don't let these motherfuckers change you. Stop letting them bait you. And don't do no shit like that no more, Cardi. For real, for real, for real. Because I don't want to see you in no lawsuit where they sitting there and, yes, you got plenty of money, but you ain't got plenty of money to waste on basic-ass bitches. Now, speaking of basic-ass bitches, I am definitely not a basic-ass bitch. And let's get into the look for a minute. I, I wanted to give kind of like... My makeup artist did, you know, like fairy, the fairy look. But I also wanted to give, you know, everybody's doing like Barbie world. You know what I'm saying? The curls and fell a little bit like that. But wait till y'all see the pictures that are coming out on Instagram. So make sure you're following me at Royal Queen Sharon on Instagram and check out the new pics that are coming out this week. But I wanted to give the kind of like Barbie thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I hope that I achieved that look. So anyway, you guys, that was a let's get into it. Let's get into the next uh, segment. It's time for Address the Mess. I really am getting through this show pretty quickly, but I am going to tell you, I am going to start slowing it down just a little bit for you guys, okay? But Queen had to make it do what it do for this week. All right, the next topic on the docket. Let's put them up on the screen, babe. Okay, now apparently this is Fly Soldier, okay, part of the Island Boys. You guys remember a couple of weeks ago, we covered um, the uh, topic of him uh, kissing his brother. OK, um, possibly being gay, but that I didn't give a shit about. If you're gay, you're gay. If you're not, you're not. But it was the kissing your brother part. Anyway, Fly Soldier from the Island Boys has the Internet talking after coming out as gay and telling his followers that he considers himself a top. His decision to speak out about his sexuality comes just weeks after he was seen in a viral video on Twitter locking lips with his twin brother, Kodiak Red. I'm a top, never a bottom is what he said. Fly Soldier, we knew you was gay. We knew you was motherfucking gay, okay? Um, it's still the fucking kissing your brother for me, okay? And you being a top bottom verse, it doesn't motherfucking matter. Nigga, you, you take dick, you give dick, you do it you, you do it with the same sex, same man. It's, that's what you do, okay? It ain't no big deal. Nigga, if you was taking it up the ass, you was taking it up the ass or something that you like. And by the looks of you, it looks like that you do like your ass tickled, okay? Uh, it, it looks like you do like your ass tickled with a little bit of, of a pickle, 
Okay. Uh, nobody cares. We don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations to you for uh, coming out the closet and thank you for admitting that you were gay, but that we already motherfucking knew that you were gay. But explain to us why the fuck you would kiss your brother. That's incest, motherfucker. So now that you have came out that you were gay, when you was kissing your brother, was you really enjoying it? Because that is just unacceptable. Now, I don't know if this is uh, a scheme or something that they are doing to get clout, to get people talking, and this, 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 that, and the other, because it seems like it's very strategic. You kiss your brother, everybody's talking about it, this, this, this that, and the other. And is your brother gay? Let us, let us know that, too. But you're kissing your brother, y'all are, you, you know, everybody's talking about it, your names are in their mouths, and then as soon as it starts to die down, then all of a sudden, boom, you're coming out as you're gay, you're a top, you're not a bottom. It doesn't matter, gay is gay. Gay is gay. And there ain't nobody, ain't nobody looking at you crazy. Rather, if you take the dick or you give the dick. But we do want to know, are you taking the dick or giving the dick to your brother? Are you tickling his pickle? What the fuck is going on with there? Because you was motherfucking turning his ass down. Okay? But congratulations to you and kudos to you for coming out of the closet. This was just put on the address the mess because I feel like that this is just a hot ass mess. This whole situation is a hot ass mess. Kissing your brother, that's a no-no for me. I still look at you as disgusting. All the tattoos, the goddamn shape up. This is just horrible. I don't know who the fuck would get with these ugly ass niggas. But you know what? To each its own. To each its motherfucking own. I don't know, babe. Did the show go by too quick? Mm. That was, where we at? 40, 46. That was pretty quick. That was pretty quick. But, you know, that's the way that it goes, you guys. You guys know who the fuck I am. I'm Queen Sharon, Queen of the Mess Report, where I cover the mess. You don't have to stress. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hot Off the Press. Every Monday night, you guys, at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If it's not on at that time, look for it. It'll be on there sometime that night. We're getting our shit together. Don't motherfucking judge me, okay? Um, you guys make sure that you guys are following me over there um, on Instagram at Royal Queen Sharon. Also make sure that you are clicking the follow button and that you are clicking the notification bell so that you can be notified. Also make sure to like this video. And I want to take the time to thank everybody out for all the fucking support I've been getting on my show. We are growing. We are being consistent. We are motherfucking doing it, you guys. And as I told you guys last week, you are super women and super men. I hope that everybody has a blessed week and that you guys have the energy to get through and do what you got to do. Hold your head up. We're going to get through this two fucking together. And with that being said, until next week, deuces.